So now we shall be discussing regarding the anastomosis on the back of the thigh. Okay, so we shall be discussing back of thigh anastomosis. So in this anastomosis of the back of the thigh, you have to know what are the different kinds of arteries. This is very, very, very important. Okay, so let us discuss all of these anastomoses now. So first of all, all of you know that here we have got we have got this vessel over here this is called as your abdominal iota right you know this abdominal iota will be dividing into two branches okay these two branches are called as common iliac arteries okay so i'll write all of these at the end so these two are called as common iliac arteries now common iliac arteries in turn divide into two parts external iliac as well as internal iliac okay so one is external iliac another one is internal iliac so let me write it now itself that here you come across abdominal iota so this is your abdominal iota so abdominal iota is dividing into two common iliacs this is common iliacs okay so common iliac artery is the right and left in turn divide into external and internal iliac this is external iliac as well as this is internal iliac this is external iliac and this is your internal iliac okay and all of you know that here you have got anterior superior iliac spine okay now apart from anterior superior iliac spine you know you have also got the pubic tubercle this is your pubic tubercle so from anterior superior iliac spine till the pubic tubercle you have got a ligament here and this ligament is called as inguinal ligament right and this external iliac artery passes just below this inguinal ligament and once it passes below the inguinal ligament the name of external iliac artery is changed as femoral artery okay so this femoral artery comes down all the way down like this right and this femoral artery will enter into your adductor hiatus and finally it will go on to the back okay on to the posterior side so it will continue on to the posterior side as an artery called as popliteal artery okay so this is your femoral artery okay so regarding the blood supply i think i have already detailedly talked about the blood supply so watch that video before you watch this okay so that you will understand what is this foramen what is this adductor hiatus what is this popliteal artery and all okay right anyways now here here exactly here this femoral artery will give out two branches okay so first of all before giving two branches let me extend this internal iliac artery right now this femoral artery will give out one very important branch all the way that is coming down and this branch is called as deep femoral artery okay so this branch is called as a deep femoral artery and deep femoral artery is having two branches one two branches are called as circumflex arteries why because they make a circle around the neck of the femur bone so one is called as lateral circumflex femoral artery and the other one is called as medial circumflex femoral artery so let us see where are these lateral and medial see from here you have got an artery that is coming all the way like this this is called as medial circumflex from here another artery that is coming like this and this is called as lateral circumflex okay so what are these two arteries so the first one over here this one is called as medial circumflex femoral artery and this one over here is called as lateral circumflex femoral artery okay so we have got one is the medial circumflex another one is the lateral circumflex now from this deep branch itself from this deep branch itself you have got some minute branches called as perforating branches so for example there is one perforating branch this is the first perforating branch this is the second perforating branch right this is the third perforating branch and finally you have got this as a fourth perforating branch now these four are called as perforating branches of deep femoral artery now these perforating branches they divide for example they divide into two branches see one is called ascending branch another one is called descending branch again one is called ascending branch another one is called descending branch again one is called ascending branch another one is called descending branch so the fourth one also there is one ascending and there is one descending 
okay now all of you look carefully here this is called as the first perforating branch first perforating branch and this is called as the second perforating branch and this is called as the third perforating branch and finally this is called as the fourth perforating branch and what did i tell you each perforating branch divides into one ascending branch ascending branch and the other one is called as descending branch ascending and descending branch okay now apart just leave the story here now after this let us just recap now what we discussed is that common iliac artery is dividing into two external iliac and internal iliac external iliac continues down as this artery called as femoral artery so this is your femoral artery over here okay so this one is your femoral artery now this femoral artery is giving one branch and this branch over here is called as a deep femoral artery this is your deep femoral artery okay so this branch over here is called as your deep femoral artery now deep femoral artery is giving two branches so one branch you called it as medial circumflex femoral artery another one you called as lateral circumflex after that it is giving perforating branches so all there are four perforating branches with two one is called ascending branch another one is called as descending branch now what will happen is that this internal iliac artery gives two arteries so one branch so all of you look here now this internal iliac artery is giving two branches so one branch is coming from the top and this branch is called as superior gluteal artery just below that another branch that is coming this is called as inferior gluteal artery so there are two gluteal arteries coming from the internal iliac so one is called as a superior gluteal artery and the other one is called as your inferior gluteal artery right now this superior gluteal artery what will happen if you see this superior gluteal artery will give a branch like this this is superior gluteal artery so this superior gluteal artery is giving a branch that is coming all the way and entering here okay now if you carefully look here you can find an very good anastomosis here so you see one anastomosis here what is anastomosis formed by anastomosis is formed by lateral circumflex femoral artery medial circumflex femoral artery it is formed by the descending branch of inferior gluteal artery first of all let me write it down what are these branches so this one is your superior gluteal artery and this one is your inferior gluteal artery this is a descending branch see this one is the descending branch of inferior gluteal artery so all of these together they are forming an anastomosis here so this kind of anastomosis is called as cruciate anastomosis so what anastomosis is this this is called as cruciate anastomosis okay so this anastomosis which you see here is called as a cruciate anastomosis okay so other than this we have got two more anastomosis what are those two more anastomosis i'll tell you now now if you look carefully guys here if you look carefully here what do we have on the top we have got focus on superior gluteal artery focus on inferior gluteal artery okay now this superior gluteal artery is this this superior gluteal artery is also giving a branch like this and inferior gluteal artery is also giving a branch right now apart from that from the medial circumflex and from the lateral circumflex you come across two branches see from this medial circumflex there is one ascending branch that is going up like this from the lateral circumflex also there is one ascending branch that is going up like this. okay so from medial and lateral circumflex two branches are going up these are called ascending branches and from superior gluteal inferior gluteal two branches are coming down like this they are called as descending branches okay for example this one and two are descending branches three and four are ascending branches so all of them here together collectively so they form the next anastomosis and this anastomosis is called as trochanteric anastomosis i will write down all these anastomoses later on so just remember it as trochanteric anastomosis so this anastomosis over here is called as a trochanteric anastomosis so what are the 
two types of anastomosis we so far saw one is called as the cruciate anastomosis another one is called as the trochanteric anastomosis okay this is formed near the trochanteric fossa okay next important thing is that coming to the third anastomosis now how does the third anastomosis look all of you see here there is one anastomosis here there is a second anastomosis here there is a third anastomosis here and if i keep on drawing like this this is the popliteal artery right now from the popliteal artery also you see a branch that is coming and it anastomoses with the another branch here so this branch which you see here this is a superior muscular branch of popliteal artery what is this this is superior muscular branch of popliteal artery so with what it is anastomosing it is anastomosing with the fourth perforating branch exactly speaking it is anastomosing with the descending branch of fourth perforating artery right so the descending branch of the fourth perforating artery and the super superior muscular branch of popliteal artery right all of them together they form an anastomosis here okay so here how many anastomoses you see four and these four anastomoses are longitudinal so that is why these anastomoses are called as longitudinal anastomoses longitudinal anastomoses so here overall we have got all these anastomoses over here okay so here we have got trochanteric anastomosis right here we have got cruciate anastomosis right cruciate anastomosis and here we have got longitudinal anastomosis so these are the three different types of anastomosis which you see so longitudinal cruciate as well as trochanteric anastomosis so if we if we have to write all these anastomosis down guys so let me write this down so that it would be easy for you so what are the three types of anastomosis we saw the first anastomosis in, on the top here we saw is trochanteric anastomosis right so we will write it as trochanteric anastomosis trochanteric anastomosis so trochanteric anastomosis what are these okay so you know that we have got internal iliac internal iliac artery okay from this internal iliac artery you have got two branches one is called as superior gluteal artery superior gluteal artery another one is called as inferior gluteal artery okay superior and inferior gluteal artery now this superior gluteal artery is having a branch and this branch is called as descending branch descending branch in the same way the inferior gluteal artery is also having a branch and this is also called as a descending branch descending branch okay now apart from this here down we have got two more important arteries now one artery is called as medial circumflex medial circumflex and the other one is called as a lateral circumflex medial circumflex femoral artery another one is called as a lateral circumflex femoral artery so from these two branches also we are getting uh, from here medial circumflex we are getting a branch and from lateral circumflex also we are getting a branch so what are these two branches over here these are called as ascending branches ascending branch here also we have got ascending branch ascending branch right so the anastomosis which is formed over here with the descending branches of superior inferior gluteal and the ascending branches of medial lateral circumflex this anastomosis is called as trochanteric anastomosis right so in the same way next we have got cruciate anastomosis so let us discuss what is a cruciate anastomosis so if you already understood through the picture no need to watch whatever i'm writing here so this is only for the notes purpose i'm writing for your notes okay most of the students they don't love to die uh, draw these diagrams and also for them i'm writing these notes right so if if you are perfect with this anastomosis with the explanation which i have given then you need not to watch this later part whatever i'm writing okay so coming to the cruciate anastomosis so what is the important thing you need to know about this cruciate anastomosis so first important thing you need to know about this cruciate anastomosis is that here we have got medial circumflex 
okay medial circumflex and we have also got lateral circumflex medial circumflex as well as lateral circumflex so this will be your medial circumflex this will be your lateral circumflex so a branch from the medial circumflex is coming like this a branch from the lateral circumflex is also coming like this apart from that we already discussed here we have got internal iliac artery internal iliac artery is giving two branches so this this branch which you can see over here this is called as superior gluteal right and this branch is called as inferior gluteal artery right so one is superior and one is inferior gluteal so this is your inferior gluteal artery now inferior gluteal artery is giving a branch that is called descending branch and this descending branch is taking part in anastomosis and that we already discussed that it is a trochanteric anastomosis but now another descending branch is coming down all the way and helping in another anastomosis called cruciate anastomosis so only these three arteries or is there anything other left yes so here we have got our first perforating artery so in first perforating artery we have got two branches so one branch which is going up like this this is called ascending branch other branch which is coming down like this this is called as descending branch so here this is the ascending branch of first perforating artery ascending branch so what are the branches guys from medial circumflex lateral circumflex two arteries right next descending branch of this inferior gluteal artery so this is your descending branch descending branch of inferior gluteal artery fourth important thing is the ascending branch of the first perforating artery so all these together also here they are forming an anastomosis and this anastomosis you call it as cruciate anastomosis and finally this is very very simple here that you see anastomosis between one descending and ascending branch of these perforating arteries right so there are four in number completely and these four anastomoses are called as longitudinal anastomosis